Welcome back to The Watch List. I'm Nicole Penelides. Let's focus on the Magnificent Seven. Everybody has something from this group, right? Whether it's in uh, your 401k, some index, and really doing well once again after that NVIDIA print. Pretty amazing. So let's get to our panel. Paul Marino, CRO, Granite Shares. Quint Tatro, Managing Director, of Jewel Financial. Thank you both for being with us. So, Paul, you had a lot to say about NVIDIA. I saw at least one guest on television today saying, adding to my position in NVIDIA, even though it's hitting some all-time highs this week, um, is there still some room for this kind of name that has already run up so much? Yeah, I think there is. Um, when you think about what Jensen Long said, demand is just so strong. You know, I'll take him at his word for that. And then if you look at the rest of the Magnificent Seven uh, and all the CapEx spending that they're making into AI uh, and the revolution, the next tech revolution that's happening, NVIDIA is going to be the big winner there. And you could see that in the numbers. Last year, people were skeptical, skeptical about their uh, prediction for growth. Uh, and they surpass that. Um, there's no reason with what's happening today and, and with AI and how it's growing that they won't be able to yeah. not only hit, but exceed the guidance. Yeah, and look, Jensen Wong talked about the demand, talked about the smooth transition to Blackwell. Quinn, quick thought on NVIDIA. Still some room to be the leader, to grow the stock, et cetera? Yeah, I mean, I would I would agree that the company just continues to fire on all cylinders. And it's clear that every time that analysts jump out and, and form some expectations or investors do the same, they clearly understate that. So the company has just been amazing. And uh, as the other guest said, I think what's interesting is so many people forget that if this was a gold rush, NVIDIA sells the pick axes. So you have to look downstream to what else is coming due to this application. And I think that's where some yeah. undiscovered value can be. Huh. I like that analogy with the gold rush and the pickaxes. T tell me about another name that you're following closely here in Tesla's on your radar, Quint. Yeah, I mean, I want to stay on the AI theme if we can for just a minute. I do like Tesla and there is some AI component there. But one of the one of the mag seven that I think is underrated from an AI standpoint is Google or Alphabet, I should say, um, you know, still trading 20 times forward and have uh, estimated to grow those EPS 30 percent this year. Obviously, almost no debt, 50 billion dollars in cash. But I think people are underestimating this application, especially if they do this deal with the iPhone and the AI aspect within Google. Google, I think, or Alphabet is is massive. And I just don't think this has caught the euphoria that some of these other stocks have. And it's right in front of our eyes. So this is our top pick sort of on the AI theme within MAG7 behind NVIDIA. All right. So so Alphabet is the top pick on the AI theme and obviously one that maybe has been overlooked a little bit. And, and so what do you think, Paul, when you look at a name like uh, Alphabet or even Amazon when you're thinking about AI? Yeah, I, I would agree with uh, Quint. I mean, the, these companies are really uh, firing on all, all cylinders. Uh, let's take a look at Amazon, right? The stock didn't have the big jump after earnings, even though they crushed every metric that they needed to, to hit. Uh, when you think about cloud services growing faster than expected, advertising revenue growing faster than expected, and they, they were seeing uh, revenue come directly from uh, their investments in AI. So um, there were a lot of macro factors that were happening around that with Fed statements, so on and so forth. Um, we really have our eye on Amazon and we think that um, this could be one of the big winners moving forward. Yeah. How about um, another name that people may be excited about and that may be Microsoft. Paul, your thoughts quickly. Yeah, Microsoft again, just, um, you know, an amazing company uh, that is doing all of the things that they need to do. Uh, growing in every specific area that they need to grow in. And um, again, it's it's a, a stock that, uh, as big as it is, uh, can get bigger. Uh, when you talk about uh, AI and uh, their, their product, Copilot, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I've been using it because we have the suite of Microsoft products. They've been offering it for free. I've been dabbling with it, and it's really an amazing tool to help me get through like lots of different things that I have to get through in a, in a on a daily basis. So. They've got the, the customer right at their desktop, uh, and they're in a great position to, to really penetrate that market quickly. All right, I'm going back uh, with Tesla right now. It's at 179, up three and a half percent today, Quint. Um, 
you know, when it's under 200, do you think it's a buy? Is that sort of your way of, of looking at this one? Yeah, it is, Nicole, and for a variety of reasons. But Tesla, historically, I love when this stock gets hit and everybody just thinks Elon and this company is down. It's so fascinating to me. If you look back and every time this happens, they pull another rabbit out of their hat, and I think they'll do it again. And this is a company with very little debt, $27 billion in cash, and doing all the right things in this environment for EVs. And they're cutting prices. They're pulling back on their employee base, et cetera. And obviously, they're getting help from the government, imposing new tariffs on EVs. Uh, you know, EVs from China. So ultimately, I think this is a company that when it's down and all eyes are focused on other MAG7 names, you pick up shares. That's what I'm doing, some of our clients are doing, and this is an opportunity to get into a great American brand with an unbelievable uh, visionary entrepreneur at, at a very reasonable price here. All right, Paul Quinn, so glad you were able to be with us on a Friday, a busy Friday of a busy week and looking at the MAG-7 that everybody loves ahead of this uh, Memorial Day weekend. Paul Marino, Quint Tatro, thank you both very much. Great to see you both.